It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. As you guys probably know at this point, like there is just so many nicknames in regards to the coronavirus. I myself use like Kung Flu. There are some people that use Chinese virus. And so basically during this whole entire pandemic, of course, people came up with different nicknames in regards to this whole entire crisis. However, it seems as though that, of course, there's an attack on free speech with this whole entire ridiculous nicknames for this coronavirus. Resolution being voted on by San Antonio City Council this morning labels terms Chinese virus and Kung Fu virus as hate speech and all persons are encouraged to report any such anti-Semitic, discriminatory, or racist insight to the proper authorities for investigations. Oh my god, like, there is like so much stuff to unpack. Like, so much stuff. I just honestly do not know where to begin. Like, for starters, like, how in the world is saying Kung Fu virus and Chinese virus a form of anti-Semitism. Like, by definition, anti-Semitism is hatred towards Jews. Like, basically, when you say Chinese or Kung Fu, how is this a reference to, of course, Jewish culture? It's no reference to Jewish culture at all. That's like the major spoiler for all of this. Like, of course, like it refers to Chinese culture and Chinese people. So obviously it's not anti-Semitic to say these kind of terms. Also guys, just please follow my logic here. If somebody was born in the United States, they're considered to be American. If somebody was born in England, they're English. If somebody was born in India, they're Indian. If somebody was born in Mexico, they're Mexican. So basically, what I'm trying to get at is that saying Chinese is not necessarily a race because ultimately people who are born into Asian countries, they're Asian. And so basically when it comes down to it, the word Chinese refers to a nationality. And of course, China exists as a nation of people, the Chinese people. And so naturally, when you say something like Chinese X or Chinese Y or Chinese Z, that itself is not referring to a race of people, but a nationality of people. So please, explain me this. If Americans actually created a virus, it would be like an American virus. If India created a virus, it would be like an Indian virus. So, so, if a virus comes directly from China, and of course they're the ones that created the virus, how is it not some sort of Chinese virus? That to me makes no sense why people are just outraged over that word. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Let's just say for the sake of argument, to actually, you know, try to be charitable to the social justice warrior types that, of course, this word is so racist, it is so xenophobic, we should not use that word at all to refer to the coronavirus. It's just super, super racist, and we should not use it at all. How is banning the word actually a good solution to, you know, for people not to use it. Because once the word is actually banned, that means that more and more and more people want to use it in spite of the ban that was taking place in Texas. In the United States, of course, we have the First Amendment. And to my knowledge, we're like one of the few countries that actually support free speech. Not to mention, according to the Supreme Court, Basically, there is no such thing as hate speech. And so naturally, states do not have a right to actually, of course, ban the words and actually follow through the constitution that has been written down for us. So even if you were to say that that word is like the most racist piece of shit I've ever seen, guess what? You'll still create an invert effect where people want to use the word much more now because now that you banned it and of course when people start to ban stuff 
they want to use it even more so. That's like happened throughout the whole entire humanity for history. Like basically, once people know that alcohol was like banned, of course it went to the black markets and of course it got dangerous. The same with the war on drugs. So basically, banning stuff never ever works. It creates bad effects for everybody. And so naturally, once you ban the whole entire word and tell people, hey, you cannot say that word because it's offensive to me, you're gonna actually make more people use the word as a result of banning the whole entire stuff. So, in conclusion, it does not make sense for a lot of different reasons for this ban. For starters, it's anti-First Amendment, Number two, you create the invert effect and actually make people want to use the words even more so. Three, from a nationality standpoint, it is stupid to call it anti-Semitic just because you don't like the word because ultimately it's not related to Jews. Not to mention Chinese is actually a nationality, not a race of people. And so it does not make any sense also to call it racist. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.